Suspension is where you find the largest differences between paramotors and in my opinion it is the most important characteristics of a paramotor. It defines handling, the fun you have in the air, it defines comfort both in the air and the ground and it has some safety implications as well. Welcome to my classroom, Insights into Paramotor Geometry. This is part two. Uh, we have more than 30 videos on the list. We'll cover every aspect of paramotor design and geometry. And by the end of this, you will be able to find what is the best paramotor for you. There are a few decisions that a paramotor designer needs to make regarding suspension. The first is the position of the carabiner relative to pilot's body. It could be sort of high mm, at this height around your ears, uh, low just about here and then somewhere in the mid-range around your chest. Now the bars uh, could be either fixed or moving and you get quite many combinations of all these and each of these solutions has its uh, uh, benefits and disadvantages that we will cover later. Now there are a few more decisions that a paramotor designer needs to make regarding suspension and that is what shape of the bar to use, where to place the thrust line relative to the carabiner and where to place the bar pivot point. <music> Now it's getting a little bit messy. Uh, here you have the design options for designer and here the effect. Position of the carabiner and the moving bars define how much weight shift authority you have and how the paramotor will handle turbulence. Position of the thrust line uh, relative to carabiners defines uh, the pitch stability of the paramotor and the shape of the bar and the pivot point of the bar defines how the paramotor will behave when you push the speed bar. Now, in flight you have all these bars and straps around you, so it obviously restricts your movements and influences comfort in flight and on the ground. As you can see, suspension is a really complex issue. I want to address every single aspect of it in a separate video. I want to start with the weight shift authority because this is the most important. Before that, to have some fun, I want to explain why we actually need weight shift. Then we move on to compare various suspension systems in terms of how much weight shift you get. After we cover all the other aspects, I want to make a big comparison of uh, paramotor suspension system at the end and this will close the overall picture. I'm excited, I have a ton of uh, information for you, so you don't want to miss that, please subscribe to this channel and see you soon.